Hi guys, welcome to another video and I'm looking here this morning on IMGN got a pop in and um, sold now I'm looking for a short here on the paper trading where I'm showing you guys how to do this so I took the pullback saw this big bearish candle another bearish candle right here is the daily fib line and uh, the uh, minute fib line is also here so I'm looking for out at 3 437 let me just put that in 437 yes in with a thousand shears while it's doing its thing let me just show you where this line was on the daily am I making this worse this line here support support resistance I usually like to draw my daily and my minute fib lines. It's 9:36. I think we sold at 9:35. Five minutes, a hundred dollars, and it's it's gonna keep going down. Let's. Oh Lord. Um, if you have a small account, you're probably not gonna be able to do this. But look at this. This thing popped from three dollars to four dollars sixty-eight. We could get anywhere a scalp. We're only going to get 10 cents, so that's uh, no, we're probably just going to have to wait. If this thing wasn't cycling that much, probably could have got in. But I got in at the confirmation here where both daily and minute fib lines meet. Got in at the pullback right here, came out here, but now it's going down and it's now on my next fib line, the 50% fib line at 428. This trade could have gone a lot better. If this thing wasn't cycling all right let's see what else is out there okay looking at this um, now we have VRB let's take a look at VRB uh, that thing popped nicely CLIN I'm not seeing anything here that's gonna be uh, more bullish it's probably gonna be bearish now so let's put in VERB So quick look at this guys. What do you think we should do? What do you where do you think this is gonna go? Let's look at the daily. Give you a better handle on this. Alright, so what we know, we know that this hit this line here, which is our support line right there. It now became the resistance line. Let's put in our Fibonacci retracement. Okay, what do you think is going to happen? Looking at this, what do you think is going to happen? Look at this. Let me try and get this a little better for you did not trade this we just saw it we're putting in all our patterns what do you think we should do I think we should wait we should wait to see where this is gonna fall all right, so we just traded IMGN, just got $105 in six minutes. I don't remember, but yeah, it's now 941. We're waiting on this stock to make a move. All right, so it broke out of our lower trend line. It's um, trending on our VWAP, consolidating, so... What are we going to do? We're going to still wait. VWAP is now horizontal. So this thing may consolidate for a while. Let's see. But what a beautiful day yesterday was with MIRM. I was scalping that most of the day. So I'm sorry I didn't get to come on here with a video. But I didn't want another day to pass. 
the other two stocks are high priced not sure if uh, based on who I'm gearing these training videos towards if these will be prices that you would want to get in so I'm not doing that let me just look at MIRM I'm just wanting to see if I can get some more trades on this uh, nope all right still watching okay we have a pop down below VWAP let's see if this is gonna be bullish now I'm thinking it's gonna be bearish but it may try to hit high of day again volume is coming in okay there we go do we have a level might try to hit here just about four cents not sure if this is worth the trade let's try reil ah beautiful okay here's one of our patterns And you should know what I'm talking about by now. Uh, let's just take this away so we can see this a little bit more clearly. Did you guys see that? And this just rubber band back itself onto. So I'm just going to just redraw it here. Okay, beautiful. Where do you think this is going to go? That's where I think it's going to go. Let's look at the daily. Okay, we're here. Let's just go back here so we can draw the line. Hit here. We have other possibilities here and here. Let's change the colors. These are our possibilities. Okay, there we go. We're moving up. Let's just go in. It's $2. Uh, we can just do... Um, I'm sorry about that. Let's just go in. Just want to get in because we know this is going up. Okay, we should be in. We're in with the average price of 242. But usually this is what I look for and I like to see this. This humongous bearish candle hidden on VWAP or my uh, Fibonacci lines for a take up. And we just saw some possible... Uh, levels that we could get to we could get back to i a day or we could get back to three dollars oh uh eight or even four dollars fourteen there's also here we could get to right there right here well let's see and all you have to do is whatever scanner you're using you just cycle through all the top gainers top movers and you can spot patterns that you're familiar with and treat those to be on the safe side uh to be in the familiar area the familiar zone so that you can be profitable and the more you try to spot patterns the better you'll get don't worry about it you'll get it when i started i was trying all different kinds of strategies and techniques until I saw actually a YouTube video that was talking about patterns and stuff and um, I just started looking for patterns looking for flags and pennants and uh, and patterns and then I started looking uh, for the candlesticks formation the marabuzu bullish bearish um, piercing you know all those candlesticks and um that's when money started coming in and if you look for those and stop worrying about your well watching your money you should always protect your equity but if you watch your money you're probably going to be too emotional to trade let's see if we could pass this 
this fib line here and as a scalper I like to I like to take my money and then um, go in again but for beginner traders you might not have that luxury 249 you can take it here I'm just showing you where you can take it it's hitting on 249 I'm selling at 249 I'm not sure why it's not sold yet okay there we go all right so if you want you can get out here or we can get back in again after it breaks through this fib line for a hit on the higher day and here's the reason why I I usually you know scalp and come out on my fib lines these are my exit points it's because something like this you never know or it may just consolidate for a while VWAP is horizontal so I don't know what's gonna happen yet trying to read the volume bars here in Weeble but uh, I don't know up hundred and seventy dollars on the day it's 952 and that's something that's uh, actually pretty good if you make a hundred dollars a hundred and seventy dollars hundred and fifty dollars an average a day you can you can make a living uh, doing trading full-time and and make a living on this so for a beginner trader that's below the PDT this may be two of your day trades so far but that's pretty good huh hundred and seventy dollars here let's see if we can look at our PL oh I guess we don't have a PL here okay so I guess for this week I am GN 105 RAIL six to five dollars am I RN I was making another video 4.96 uh, we're just focusing on here these are the two that we just did giving us a p l of 170 so yeah I'm not liking that VWAP is just going horizontal so we're just gonna stay away from this for now let's look back at VRB see if that's doing anything yet oh wow there it went there it went we were looking at it here so this trended on VWAP popped out went from 169 160 to 190 that's just 30 cents that's good money right there uh, we missed that one this should be coming down now let's let's redraw this so if you have shares to short at your brokerage company you could go in here and um, short this and I'm giving you multiple um, things today but that not necessarily means that you're gonna be using up all your day trades within one day I mean if, if you're making money then why not and then you can just take the week off but um, I, I don't encourage it because you may have a better moving stock on another day. I just want to take this out way further. Uh, trending now on Fib. I don't really like the blue here. So trending there. Told you it's going to be coming down because with this pattern, either drops and pops or pops and drops so we could go in and get another 10 cents down to here but um that's support right there right there is support so it just bounced off our 38.2 percent fib line and this thing should be coming down to at least here like I said that's about 10 cents there 
If this thing completes its head and shoulders, shoulder, head, not sure if this is going to actually be a head and shoulder, then we're going to definitely get a humongous drop. But let's see what it forms. Kind of sorry we missed this one, though. I'm not sure if this will be constituted as a head and shoulder. Might be. I, I'm not 100% on that one. But I know that this will be coming back down. Okay, there. It just hit on my support line that I said it was going to hit on. Let's see if it's going to get to our fib line here. Should. Should. Let's hope. Or well, not, let's hope, but let's see. We're not in this stock. We're just watching to see. Okay, there's a pop-up, but we'll check back on this later. I just saw something, CLNE. Here's another pattern that I like to trade. I was actually looking on it on the daily. No, I was looking at it on the 15 minute. I'm sorry. But uh, it looks different here than on my, my broker. This is usually bearish, and there it goes. Two dollars. Let's buy this on the mat. It's at two thirty-eight. Love that VWAP and Fib is right there at two thirty-three. But this pattern is usually bearish, so let's put VRB in a corner here, so we can just watch it. Okay, so we were watching to see if VRB will get to this fib line. Remember that it popped up all the way up here, but now it's back there on our support resistance line. But our aim, or, you know, based on our thinking, we wanted to hit this line here, this green line here, which is the 50% uh, fib line at 143. We're just watching it here. In this little box in this stock we're shorting this so we're waiting for a drop to at least uh, VWAP fib but I would I'm gonna try to take it here on this support resistance here and where this little consolidation is usually this would be the best exit point this one here let me just put that in so you can see what I'm talking about. And let's change that color. So the exit point would most likely be here. We're going to see how close we can get. VRB still consolidating up here. So now we've hit FIB, VWAP, major exit point, $45. But we're going to hold to see if this does what it usually do see this pattern I just draw it here to make a full box so that's why I'm thinking it should get on this line here this line and because two of our analysis here fib line and VWAP is right here it's it's trying it's hard not uh, to stay on there but uh, we'll watch and see. Like I said, with this pattern, it usually drops, but you never know about manipulation in the market or, um, you know, just something off news or something. We like to just be safe and uh, watch this as close as possible because this is here. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty testy, but it's consolidating nicely on there where shorting this and i like that there's a lot of red candlesticks okay here comes uh verb still still on uh the support resistance line that we have here this might just be a little confusing to you but um 
I'm not sure where to put this so you can actually see it. There it is going. Let's go in and set our uh, buyback here on CLNE at $2.27. While we watch V, uh, V, um, VRB, let's, let's just do this. And watching stocks is one of the good things to do. So that's why even though we're not in here, we just want to confirm for next time that we were right. It's now sitting on this support, but we estimated that it would uh, get here on this 50% Fib line. So we're setting up our buyback at 227, which is right here on the 38.2% uh, Fib line. Just waiting for the hit. But like I said, this line that I've drawn here at 222 is actually the more likely that it well is a is a chance that it will get there. But we're going to be prudent. VRB still consolidating. It's so now 1018. I don't like to be in stocks this long. <laughs> this is so drawn out it's never boring to me but in the interest of making a video it's um i don't usually like to stay in a trade this long but there are times when you have a lot of volume in the market and the market is volatile and then there are times when you just have to just wait okay so vrb only went to our Support resistance line consolidated for a bit and now it's trying to reach our VWAP. Waiting on CLNE to go where it's supposed to go. And I say that as a joke. Um, you don't tell the market where to go. It tells you where it's going to go. And the reason why there's not a lot of movement to the downside is that VWAP is still here. Horizontal, sticking on the... Fib line. So the pattern is saying one thing, but then we're still having a lot of stuff just happening right around here. It was consolidating on there, it became its support, now it's then it became its resistance, and now we're seeing a movement again. We're going to try to stick with the pattern to see if that's going to actually move the way it usually does for me okay this thing is going to consolidate for too long so i'm just going to take it because vwap is sitting on fib and it's just been there for a while so i'm just going to just uh get out here at 233 or 234 let's just go ahead and modify this like i said i don't like to sit in a trade for too long it's now 1028 and while we're watching uh, verb it's just also still consolidating it tried to come down here but it was hit with a bullish candle and went right back up so we're not going to be watching that anymore because that's just consolidating. We're now up $210, one hour in a trade, 1028. But um, yeah, VWAP is just sticking to FIB. And again, to let you know, this is why these are the only things that I use because they give me exactly what I need to know, all the information that I need to know to make a trade. But it's still fun to watch and see what happens. Like I said, this is um, something that I associate with being bearish. It actually did fall from $2.39 all the way down to $2.30, which is uh, 9 cents. But I do expect it to come here to this line 
but for some reason VWAP is just sticking right there so now it's just consolidating where VWAP and FIB meet and I don't want to be in it anymore so I'm just gonna uh, get out if by the time I completely end my train trading and this training video start editing and stuff if I see that it moved actually down here then I will come back on and let you guys see that or you can just look later and try to match this pattern and just see what happens or what happened yeah this is just gonna keep consolidating it's been consolidating since 1008 so now for for like 13 minutes it's just one spot so yeah walking away here but um, you can check on this later all right guys so that's it for me today I will be catching you tomorrow on another trade and watching patterns Lola clear here signing off and I will catch you tomorrow all the best please please like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you can know when I upload another video all right take care guys all the best okay guys I just wanted to pop in and just show you uh, VERB and CLE CLNE so we were we left off here this morning and it actually did go up uh, to our VWAP but then it came right back to where we were saying it should go to which is right here on the 50% uh, fib line so yes we were correcting our thinking with that one and now for CLNE we were thinking it's gonna come to here it's still trending down it did consolidate for a while went up a bit but then there it is right here we're still waiting on it to get to here so this may just go into uh, tonight and we're not gonna be getting into it or waiting on this but yes still waiting on it to drop like I said this is a bearish setup for me and it actually popped up to 240 went all the way down to 229 and still consolidating so that's just an update from me to let you see what happened with the stock all right ciao